All right, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So the details for the upcoming Extreme Z Awakenings for the Int Future Trunks, the AGL Golden Frieza, as well as the Int Golden Frieza are finally here courtesy of the official Dokkan Twitter page. And in today's video, we're going to quickly go over all the details together. I'm going to give you guys my first impressions and opinions about how good these EZAs are. All right, now real quick, a big massive shout out to my boy Goresh on Twitter for these translations. None of this would have been possible without him. So thank you very much. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. And we're gonna start here with the Future Trunks first because he of course is the main unit from this batch, the Dokkan Fest unit. And his leader skill is gonna be super class, key plus three, HP, attack and defense, plus 100 percent so obviously not the best super class leader skill we've seen it's not as good as like the uh transforming goku for example but still very good very versatile i can see this definitely being very useful for building teams in battlefield for example his super attack causes immense damage and greatly lowers defense and raises super class allies attack by 30 percent per one turn pretty solid and his passive it's gonna be changes STR key spheres to in key spheres. Attack and defense plus 20% per key sphere obtained. Really, really high uh, boost right there for each key sphere. And also randomly changes a type of orb to rainbow orbs, excluding STR or int. If there is a realm of gods category enemy and attacks effective against all types when collecting seven or more key spheres. So this guy is gonna hit really, really hard, guys. All right, now, of course, you're not always gonna be getting seven key spheres, but the fact that he's able to, of course, change STR to int and also has the ability to change other types of key spheres to rainbow key spheres if, if you're facing Realm of Gods enemies means that in certain situations, he's going to be getting a lot of orbs pretty consistently just based off his own passive. So getting seven key spheres, especially for this unit, shouldn't be that difficult. And when you do that, he gets attacks effective against all types on top of 20% attack and defense per key sphere obtained. Uh, he's going to be busted, man. He's, he's going to be busted. I'm serious. Like, I know I say that sometimes about some units that might not be super busted or just are just like really good. But this dude's going to be busted. He's going to hit so freaking hard. Just watch for the showcases. He's gonna get up to like, I don't even know, like four, five million attack or something even crazier with like a full board. But even with like a regular number of orbs, let's say like seven, ten orbs, something like that, um, he's gonna get some crazy, crazy numbers. And they factor in the attacks effective against all types. Um, he's gonna hit really, really hard, guys. So very good Extreme Z Awakening right there. Of course, I don't have the calculations on hand, so I can't tell you guys exactly what he's going to be doing, but uh, expect some really, really big numbers for sure. So that is the future trunks right there. Let's move on to the Golden Freezes now, starting with the AGL Golden Frieza. Leader scale, AGL types, key plus, sorry, no key, just attack plus 35% per AGL key sphere obtained. So of course he was a nuke lead, and I believe it used to be 33%, right? So now it's 35 I could be wrong, maybe it's the same, I don't know. But nuke lead still, as, as with before. And his super attack raises attack and causes damage, supreme damage to the enemy. So he infinitely stacks attack right there. And his passive is key plus two and attack plus 90% when collecting four or more key spheres, reduces damage received by 90% when HP is 40% or above. So um, of course, 90% is the same as before, but that is pretty much the height of damage reduction in this game, right? Like they're not going to give a unit 99% or 100% damage reduction because that makes no sense. So 90% I think is going to be the highest boost we will ever see. So he still has that. But I think the HP restriction actually is a little bit better now instead of, I believe it was 50% before. Now it's 40%. And uh, he also now can give himself key plus two. So a little bit self-sufficient for key right there. And also attack plus 90%. So... Instead of being just a pure tank, instead of just, you know, taking no damage, but also not being able to deal any damage, this guy will actually be able to deal some decent damage now. Not insane damage, not as um, 
you know, he's not gonna hit as hard as the tech Golden Frieza for sure, but he will do some damage now. And if you factor in the fact that he can actually raise attack, stack attack, every single time he supers. Um, in longer events, like the Legendary Goku event, for example, or anything like that, um, he's gonna be amazing, man. He's gonna be taking no damage the entire time, unless you fall below 40% HP, which hopefully you don't. And he also is gonna be stacking attack every single time he supers, and he also gets 90% attack when you collect four more key spheres, which won't happen every time. But uh, if you do get that, then he's gonna do some good damage for you. So really good improvement right there. Great Extreme Z Awakening. Moving on finally to the Int Golden Frieza, and his leader skill is Int, Tech, and STR types. Key plus 3, HP, Attack, and Defense, plus 80%. So, uh, yeah, pretty good leader skill right there, man. Of course, not the best we've seen once again, but three different types. Key plus 3, HP, Attack, and Defense, plus 80%. I like that. Super Attack raises Defense and causes Supreme Damage. So he stacks defense infinitely and uh, passive is attack and defense plus 90 percent at the start of the turn target goku category allies key plus two attack and defense plus 30 percent and high chance to perform a critical hit if there is a enemy whose name includes goku excluding youth ginyu jr etc okay so um wow that is a big improvement holy crap i mean first of all if you guys don't remember or don't have this unit for some reason or never really paid attention to him, he was almost unusable before the Extreme Z Awakening. You know what I mean? Like, he was just really, really bad. Nobody ran him. So now, he's gonna be extremely good. Like, attack and defense plus 90% is already pretty solid, right, compared to what he was before. And then, target Goku, category allies, keep plus 2. Attack and defense plus 30% and high chance to perform a critical if there is a... Wait, hold on. Is this, um, are, are these two both tied to facing a Goku enemy? Because if that's the case, then he's not as good as he thought, or as I thought, but still good. Still a massive improvement. It's just, uh, I was hoping that the support part would be separate from the critical part, but I think they're both contingent on you facing a Goku, so that's not as good. So essentially, if you're not facing a Goku, I think he's only getting attack and defense plus 90%, and then, of course, raising defense every single time. So once again, amazing for Legendary Goku event, for, um, what else, for Infinite Dragon Ball History, possibly even the new Extreme Super Battle Road, if that's a thing. I don't really know. As you guys know, I don't play JP a lot, so I don't know all the details for this new version of Super Battle Road, but I know it's really hard, so maybe he can... Help you guys there as well um and yeah there we go uh, hold on did i miss anything for the agl golden frieza is there anything else there isn't okay so it looks like as far as ranking goes that of course trunks is the best he's gonna be insanely insanely um actually both defensively and, uh, and offensively insanely broken because he's getting 20 percent defense as well like most people just pay attention to the attack but there's also the defense right so he's getting 20 percent defense with every key sphere obtained, so he's gonna be tanking pretty well um, too with enough orbs. And then uh, number two will be this guy, of course. And number three is the Int Frieza. So essentially, I think that was the ranking for them before the Extreme Z Awakening. So that, that the ranking for how good they are still stays the same, but uh, they all got significant improvements, especially this Trunks right here, who was pretty bad before. I mean, I'll just be honest. Like, he was a nuker before too, and he was like, good for certain things but nobody really brought him for like you know a hard event or like event that they really cared about right so um i'm glad this man got the respect i'm glad he's this good and uh, it's gonna be fun to use him on just anything really but like mostly to try to like just nuke the crap out of enemies man he's gonna do so much damage with a full border orbs or even like half a border orbs and just his orb changing ability is gonna make it really easy for you to actually get a lot of orbs so he's he's really really good and uh, of course this dude still basically one of if not the best tank in the game with that 90 percent damage reduction but now also being able to do some damage and uh this frieza overall is just massive improvement man like i said he was really really bad before like really really bad for before seriously so um, any improvement would have been good and this is definitely a massive improvement and if you're facing a goku then he is amazing. If you're not facing a Goku, then he's still 
really, really good. And in, in fact, actually, I mean, since you're taking on Goku the whole time in the Legendary Goku event, uh, he's going to be perfect for that. Like, he is going to be, he's a unit made for that event with the stacking defense and also the support and the high chance to crit. All right, so there you go, guys. That is today's video. Those are the three extremes, the Awakenings coming to JP very, very soon. And, uh, you know, to global in let's say four to six months or something like that. I don't know, whatever the normal timeline is. But uh, that's it guys, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about all of these Extreme Z Awakenings, especially the trunks. And uh, yeah, that is the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel and you like what you see, and definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. Did I say that right? Up to date. Up to date with all my latest content. And uh, that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.